Hey everybody, I know it's been a long time since I've released a video, and I say that every time, but um, I've got two more recorded, I just need to voice them over, and I'll get them out as fast as I can. So today I'm going to show you something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to microwave dry herbs, and then we're going to make some popcorn with them. And I'm just going to demonstrate using scallions. We really want just the, the dark green part. The white part you'll see is a little bit thicker, it's got more water in it, so it doesn't dry as evenly. Uh, but this works with many herbs, um, if you've got rosemary, thyme, you know, parsley, what, whatever, whatever it might be. Uh, most of them, you know, if you buy fresh, it's a pain to use it all. Because you usually get a lot. So what I like to do is I like to dry it in the microwave, so I can I can keep it using it dried, and it, they usually retain a lot of flavor as well. And we'll just chop the the green onions as finely as we can. And the reason the microwave works really well for drying herbs is that the most of the plant material in the in the herb doesn't absorb microwaves. So really, it's just the water that's getting hot. And if you do it carefully, uh, this will let you you dry the herbs in a way that they stay nice and fresh and and they, we don't get too much uh, browning or anything like that. So we'll sandwich it between two pieces of paper towel on a plate, and we'll put it right in the microwave. And it's a 1200 watt microwave. I usually start with about three minutes. So you can see here, three minutes wasn't quite enough. Everything's still sort of damp, but you can see they've shrunk considerably already because they've lost a lot of water. So, and we'll just put it back in about 20 or 30 second intervals and just keep checking. You don't want to go too far. If you let it dry out too much, um, you can actually get arcing in your microwave. So you can see we've got a few browned ones, which is okay. And if you listen to it, you can see most of them are quite dry. It sounds like like paper almost. Uh, but there's, there's still a few that are a little bit damp, so it needs just a little bit more. Yeah, so you can see that one's still got a little bit of water. So we're going to put that back in just for a little bit more until it's all crackly. And then you can use it to store it just like that, or uh, I'm going to put in a more pestle so we can get a little bit finer. So that's pretty fine. Uh, that's about as how I like it for popcorn. I'm just gonna put in some kosher salt, and you can just do this to taste. And I'm gonna put some MSG in. Uh, I know people don't get a little bit worked up over MSG, but it's really delicious, as the Japanese will be keen to remind us. And uh, it's an essential amino acid, so there haven't been actually been any proof of health ailments caused by MSG. And then to make the popcorn. I'm just gonna put it in. I'm going to walk with some oil in the bottom, just enough to kind of cover the bottom. This will keep things uh, lubricated so nothing sticks together. I put it on the stove, put it about medium, and basically all you do is just give it a shake now and then, and eventually you'll hear this sound here, uh, and, and it will slowly get faster and faster, and basically you just keep doing this until you don't hear much popping anymore. And give it a, take it off the stove and give it a little bit so it doesn't go in your face. I'm going to put some melted butter on the popcorn. And just give it a toss to mix it up. And then we'll add the onion salt. And basically, we'll just give it a little bit of a toss, and it's ready to serve. So you can uh, sit down on the couch with the movie. And it's a little bit uh, slower than cooking microwave popcorn, but it's a lot tastier and cheaper to boot. So here's what it looks like when it's cooked. And the microwave trick is good for not only herbs, but things like tomato skins as well. And look out for my two videos in the near future, I hope. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy.